Hello everyone, it's Wild Farmer 6710. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to day 85 on the big 132 model farm diorama display. It is currently a wet springs day as I speak. As I record this video, it is currently raining. Um, so that just goes to show the weather in Ireland. Um, but uh, we have still a good few highlights in this video and a few mishaps as well, as you can see. Uh, we have a new baler on Adrian's farm. I think I've seen two John Deere seven eight tens, and there's a lot more to um, a lot more to speak about as well. So stay along. Let's get into it. So over here, PJ's farm. He's actually a bit busier this episode. Last two weeks, he wasn't that busy you now. Um, just not much to do. He's just doing a few small little bits and stuff. So not much to be writing home about. But I uh, know he has the Massey twelve hundred on the Bradall spreader. He Got her out from the back of the shed there, and yeah, it's all working well. He's greased her up, um, and uh, JCB teleporter has loaded up a bagger 10, 10, 20 there, and he's going to spread it up onto the onto the fields there now, on top of the winter barley. So that'll go on nicely, and uh, you kind of have a better tractor for the fertilizer spreader, as uh, it's articulated, it's good around the headlands, and. Uh, not all the weight is on the back wheels. Um, so, yeah, it's not a bad little fertilizer spreading tractor, shall I say. Um, JCB 3C there parked in the yard, and the same with the 7810 Ford. And the 590 and the 690 are parked around the shed there. So that's about it. Going by, we have a lovely 6810 Ford with a straw band book spreader, which can actually well, be used as a bale trailer as of now since. Uh, but yeah, no, in Germany, they actually did come, well, more so used in Germany. You see the buys and they have the, the sides are able to open up. So uh, yeah, that's not a bad job. So uh, he's going down the road there now. I'm not sure if it's very safe looking or anything though, as you can see. But uh, yeah, he's chancing his arm. Moving down the road, we have not every day you see this, and definitely not all the time, very rare occasion you see this now, a long nose county 1474 with a cultivator on the back. I don't know who in, they, in this day and age is going to work in a county this size, but fair play to this man here. I think his name is Kevin, he's been around the videos for quite a while now, and uh, it's looking as clean as ever, as clean as a last saw it anyway, and uh, it's an exception, it's a credit to him. Uh, he has the cultivator on the back, the fold down cultivator, and uh, things are looking well. Anyway, I think he's on the, on the way back to do a bit of cultivating or something. I'm not quite sure now, but uh, it looks the, looks the business anyway, that's to say the least. Moving on into Finnebar's farm. Step one of the, well, one of the processes first of getting this site, this farm, into a quarry. So the sheep have been sold. Um, he's bringing them off to the sales there now. He's loading them up. He has his good friend there with his Mitsubishi Pajero, who actually works along there in um, James and Michael's yard. And uh, yeah, Finbar's just loading up the sheep there now. And uh, yeah, say Finbar's last time seeing the sheep. Well, for now, anyway, who knows what the future holds? But he's loading them up into the cat into the Eiffel Williams. Livestock trailer there now, so after the sales, there you go. Hopefully, he gets a good price. And then there we have the Kubota and the David Brown 1490 parked up. JCB Digger still parked there. Then moving on into James and Michael's yard, we have a blue Valtra, an 8950 Valtra. Same tractor as last episode, except within the week, I'm after respraying the blue for a customer. So there you go now. Um, and that's bringing out another load of sugar beet, or beet, should I say. Um, another load sold by James and Michael. They're doing quite well at the moment there with selling the beet. So they might actually consider sowing a few fields of beet for next year around. So, and actually keep a few tractors busy during the winter time. And then off into the shed. They had to take the chrome big M out of the shed, so they did. Now it's not sign of season yet, so don't get your hopes up. But um the 7810 John Deere 
the lambkin warm pass or the lambkin seed drill is stored at the back of the shed there at the lean to so tend to take the chrome big M out but uh, yeah no they have a bit of a contract there of seeding a bit of winter barley with the lambkin drill so the 7810 is on that job just getting everything ready to have the job there in a few days time so the center will get get prepared um and then for the building site there they're after taking hold of a builder's trailer there his tractor is after breaking down so they're after getting drawn in there with the new holland t7 black power and that's on a cane half pipe i think yeah cane half pipe and he's basically drawn out the quarry there until the builder's tractor is fixed i've no idea what's wrong with it now but uh hopefully it gets sorted now um but yeah no T7 there is on the half pipe and that'd be just drawn out of a quarry, drawn stone or whatever to a building site. So um and then yeah there's the case there now, not much sugar beet left, none at all in fact. Just a few trimmings there on the side of the building, that's about it. Um yeah, case puma was loading up there all during the week. And yeah, that is a pretty nice outfit, the Valbet, blue Valbet and the herbs. If you do remember the red Valtra or the Valbet Valtra um, from last episode, which colour do you prefer, the blue or the red? I'm not quite sure now, to be honest. The blue is very nice, but the red is as well, so it's a bit of a, it's a hard decision. And then over onto the field here, across James and Michael's yard, we have a lovely, I think, no, it's a 7710 John Deere. With a four furrow coverl plough on the back. This is actually for Adrian here now. Adrian's after taking this ground this year. And um, yeah, his fent is out of action um, since the last episode as well. And he's after bringing in a man that's, he you knows, he's actually getting quite friendly with now. And he has a, he has a 7710 John Deere. And uh, this is his ploughing tractor. And he's after using Adrian's plough there now. As he doesn't want, he doesn't really want to wear down his plough. So. That's fair enough. The cost of metal and stuff and mold boards and planes and everything, so can't blame him. But yeah, he's just bit using his tractor at the moment and he has a fair nice uh, box on the front. Don't know why you'd need that box for, but it looks okay, I suppose. I'm really a fan of them though. But yeah, yeah, no, it's a lot nicer than James and Michael's. I'm not sure if you can see, it has a bit of a chrome pipe and so on, so a bit nicer specked out, but he's plowing away there at the moment. And he's getting the job done for Adrian. Hopefully his fence will be back in action. Over here into the AD plant. We have the boys there now. They're taking off the tyres off the pit. Um, they have the 416 out. The big massive bucket on. And they're just taking the tyres off. They're going to be starting into this pit, pit here on Monday. So they'll get moving anyway. I don't know how they're going to lift them um, tractor alloys or anything. But uh, yeah, they'll be doing well. Hopefully they have the big JCB there. Low loaders parked up from uh, from during the week, and the rest of the machines are all parked up. Uh, same as last episode. Um, we have a drama here now. Fed eight twenty, and an NC spreader. He's after. Well, he's after bringing this NC spreader there, and it's actually broken. I think there's something wrong with the back auger or the back spinner on the spreader. He might have blown a bearing, but it's definitely not right anyway i'm not sure if he's if he has told james and michael now but uh not going to was anyway he's after borrowing the spreader there during the week for goodwill he's been borrowing it there for the past few years and he's usually a good man to deal with but uh, <laughs> hopefully you'll get that fixed i don't think james and michael are going to be very happy though but uh with the look at this here now there's a lot of action going on in the town here now i don't know what's on i think there's mass on um but yeah, there's a good few people stopped in, that's for sure. We have one of the councilmen with their JCB 4CX. And um, he's parked in there. He's getting a chipper, baby. And then we have the milkman passing by, doing a few runs. And we have uh, other few vehicles parked in the village as well. Moving on here down the road, we have a spectacular Case Puma 175 with a Brahan silent trailer. It's full to the full to the gills with muck, and uh, yeah, he's uh, he's drawn a bit of muck there for a farmer, drawn it out of the farm and dumping it in the field for spreading. 
So uh, he's been flat out all day. Over here in Adrian's farm, as I said at the start of the episode, a new baler has arrived. Well, would you look at this? New Mikhail 5500. She's very, very new anyway. Um, I'm not sure if it's brand new or as a second hand, but uh, it's very, looks very new anyway. And uh, it's to replace his old F550. Um, and uh, he's hoping to take on a bit more bailing contract this year. He's already signed up a few uh, jobs with a few lads and uh, he's gonna bail a good bit of straw for, for, for sale down the country and stuff. And um, yeah, so that's nice to hear. He has a bit of work on. And nice to see him moving up a bit in the world with, with a few jobs. Um, Fent 926 is still out of action. Um, Fent Mechanic is up to his eyes at the moment, so he hasn't got time to start into it now. But the brakes are locking up, so I think it's on the front axle, there's a sensor gun or something. Hopefully it's nothing too big, but um, it's parked up there for the time being anyway. That's why he's after having to get his... Uh, friend in with his John Deere 7710 to plough the field. Um, now I know the case and all could have done it and the, well the Sammy, not the best attractor now for a ploughing but worth push come to shove he could have used it but he said he'd give his friend a bit of work which is um, nice to see you Adrian. Adrian's always like that, he'd look after you. Uh, nothing else much new in the yard other than the baler really but uh, yeah hopefully he gets the fant fixed up. And hopefully it's not too costly, but yeah, that's some would say that's one of the downsides of owning a fent, how expensive they are. And if something goes wrong, it could be major. But um I'm sure there's a good few people that could disagree with me with that, but however, my opinion. Uh we have an 8560 New Holland coming down the road with a ring roller on the back, and with the land being so wet at the moment, uh, he decided to put the jewels on. So he didn't really want to mark the ground. But um there's, I don't, not sure if the sat nav brought him this way or anything, but I don't, I'm not sure if Google Maps knows his dual wheels on his tractor, but he's been sent this way anyway. And there's this big valley in the road, you could, you could say, and uh, it's just about wide enough for the dual wheel tractor to come through. Now it is kind of mounting up on the bank there now, <laughs> so. Um, he might be making a mess, but uh, he's getting through there anyway. Hopefully no one, no one notices him. But yeah, nothing else going on down here. Uh, as I said last episode, one of the farmers are after putting cow cattle up onto the Adrian's field there. Adrian's after renting it out to him, so. That's about it on this side of the farm, guys, and in general, the rest of the farm. Let me know, guys, what was your favorite part of the video? Uh, was it the lovely John Deere 7710 ploughing or was it the new F5500 Mikhail Baylor? Please let me know guys in the comments below and what do you think of the Valmet 8950? I think it's a beautiful tractor with an extra tray of weights on the front as well. So hope you see you again in the next video guys. And it's very interesting to see about Finbar's farm how it's going to be uh, showing in the next few weeks and months uh, how it's going to turn into a, a complete concrete jungle, some people would say. But uh, it'll be interesting to see a bit of a change now, like with the machines coming in and you know what they're going to do with this site. But that's about it, guys. I'll see you again in the next video. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.